Hi! The interactive text reveal animation you will learn to create today looks like this. You can use this to talk about a term and its definition or you can use this as an agenda slide where you show the topic here and a few key points that you're about to discuss. Or in general, wherever you want to talk about a subtitle and then the explanation here, you can always use this interesting effect. Let me show you how to create this beautiful yet quite useful effect from scratch. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. Let us go to the Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle like so. Now this will be the place where you will write your subtitle text. So you say your subtitle text here. You can of course use a much thicker font. In this case, I'm going to use 2 cent empty condensed extra bold, make it as big as you want and then go to shape outline, no outline and then choose a color. I'm going to choose this teal color. Looks good. Then let me make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D. I can place this over here and then make another copy by pressing Ctrl D. And this one can be placed right on top of the subtitle text just to cover it. Let us not have any text on top of this and then place this just like so. If you want, you can have it in a lighter teal color like so. Beautiful. Let me delete this one and maybe if required, I can even make it much lighter. Let's say something of this color. So the text is clearly visible. I can write my sample text here, increase the font size to 20 so it is readable and then place it right over here. Add more text if you require. Then select everything and press Ctrl G to group it. Then we are going to create the ring binder effect. For that, let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. Pick up the oval tool and draw a circle like so. Go to shape fill, fill it with white color. Then go to shape outline, say no outline. Then go to shape effects, go to shadow and use inner shadow. And I'm going to use this one called inside top left. And I'm going to place it over here. Then let me make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and I can place this over here. Let us connect both of these with a rounded rectangle. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From rectangles, I can use this one called as Rectangle Rounded Corners. Let us draw it big and then let us move the yellow handle to the right. So we have full curvature and then we can always readjust the size the way we want and make sure that they are both connected and then go to Shape Fill and then give it any color of your choice. Shape Outline, No Outline and make some minor adjustments to ensure that everything is positioned well and select all of them. Press Ctrl G. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place it over here. If you want, you can have it as holes punched on the card as well. Let me show you how that is done. Let me take a copy of this hole here by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And then let me place it exactly where it was earlier. And you can see that these are the two positions. Select this shape, then hold the shift button down and select both these shapes. Then go to Merge Shapes or you go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes and say Shape Subtract. Now you can see that it has holes like this. So whichever technique that you adopt is completely up to you. Now the next step is we want to just ungroup this now and then make sure that this and these two holes are grouped together. So you can see that we have this with its own set of holes. So right click and send this to back. Now the setup is complete. Now the next step is to create the illusion that this is a closed book and it opens to reveal the text. How do we do that? You first select this shape here, go to exit effects by going to more exit effects and then say collapse and say OK. By default, the collapse happens to the center. We need to change that. So go to effect options and say it collapses to the right. And right after that, we want to have this enter the scene with a stretch animation. So let us go here, go to more entrance effects and say stretch OK and then say from left. So this happens after previous. So when I go to slideshow, this is what is the scene. On a click, this is how the text is revealed. It is that simple. Now I'm going to make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and let me place this over here and then press Ctrl D and this is placed. 
then let us select everything make sure that the positioning is proper now this looks like a perfect positioning when i go to slideshow this is how i would reveal three subtitle texts and their corresponding explanation now let me show you three example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle where we extend the same idea that i just showed you in a more creative way using advanced custom animation here there are three draws with client details on a click we open the first draw and reveal the details about client one then on a click we close client one's details and then go to client two and reveal the details and then client three's details are shown the next example template is this one where we show three points with detailed text in a very simple way a hand comes and reveals the number and then the explanation is shown if you want a little more dramatic version, you can use this animation template where we show text highlight with moving spotlight. On a click, we focus the attention on the first point, then the attention shifts to the second point and then to the third point. So with a bit of imagination and creativity, you can come up with your own variations of revealing text on your slide. If you don't have the time to create such elaborate animations yourself, we have done all the hard work for you and bundled them all in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle has a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates. You just need to pick the relevant slide template, insert it in your presentation, change the sample text and your presentation gets ready in no time. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. Click on the link, check out more details about this. If you liked this tutorial, then you will really love this other tutorial called PowerPoint tutorial to create stunning interactive pockets for quiz. This is a simple yet quite a beautiful animation. I will leave a link to this video in the description box below the video and also on your screen right now. You can click on the link, watch that video and learn an interesting trick to impress your audience. I'll see you inside that video.